right. You always see on TV, you always see like things always telling you, don't try this at home. That's why I do a lot of TV watching at my friend's house. <laughs> Alright, like recently I've been getting down, sort of depressed a little bit. Things might not be going my way all the time. But it's cool because, I don't know, it's alright because like I would never think about offering myself, but I had started smoking cigarettes and not wearing my seatbelt whenever I go out places, so maybe nature will just sort of take its course. <laughs> I think I got a chuckle out of that. Have <laughs> you ever noticed every time somebody says they can't do two things at once, they're always doing two things at once? <laughs> It'll sink in, I promise. Just think about it, like two seconds. <laughs> All right, like, uh, I hate whenever people call sweatpants joggers because it makes me feel obligated. And that's the last thing I want to do whenever I'm in sweatpants is run. <laughs> I think they should call them lounge pants. Uh, the old saying is, you have to spend money to make money. I found those words to ring very true while at the beach. I bought a piggy bank. <laughs> that one will grow on you too. I'm telling you, like, whenever you guys go home, you're going to be like, man, that guy was killing it. <laughs> man, he's good. <laughs> when, I, when I get a little older, if things don't work out for me, I'm always going to open up a storage company. It's going to be called Junk in Our Trunks. <laughs> what the fuck do sun-dried tomatoes do at nighttime? <laughs> Anybody? I, I don't know which came first, the chicken or the egg, but man, either way, they're delicious. <laughs> I'm killing it in my mind right now. <laughs> I'm like so good, so sick. <laughs> I, it's always romantic whenever you're gonna eat by candlelight, except if the power's out then it's just necessary. It's like, hey, you want to dine how they did in 1422? All right, it's cool, we'll in the door. <laughs> a good way to tell some, a lot about a person is just go up to just some random person and be like, you're argumentative. And if you get a response, I'm not argumentative, boom. You know something. That's working grounds. It's like a foundation. Of sorts. I was at a I was at a hospital and this dude uh, he had on a WWJD bracelet and I was like, alright, you know that's cool, that's whatever. But he retched up and turned the channel. I was like, no, that's not what J would D, man. <laughs> Boom, done. Next time I go to the beach, I've always wanted to do this, but I've always been sort of weird, weirded out about it and I really thought to do it. Next time I'm definitely going to. I'm going to put a message in a bottle and I'm going to wait until they're all there looking at it and somebody's like, hey, I just found a message in a bottle. I'm like, open it up, see what the message is. And it's going to say, this is littering. <laughs> Please recycle. <laughs> And if all those other ideas that I just threw at you guys don't work, whenever I grow up, I'm gonna work at the Kellogg cereal plant. And it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna pitch an idea for a breakfast cereal called the Sopranos. And our tagline's gonna be, wake up with a big bowl of the family or else you'll be sleeping with the fishes. Ah. <laughs> Just a little more. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Thank you. My name's John. Those are my jokes.